How's it going my fellow gears? Welcome back to the channel once more as this Road to Seriously 5.0 series continues. Each video has taken a deeper dive into its respective hive and showed my attempt at beating it. Now it's time to depart another escape hive as we take on the Wanderer. The beginning section of this video will give an overlook to the hive covering different elements such as the map, weapons and mutators. Class suggestions will also be covered before showing my attempt for this one. My videos are usually chaptered as I know some people like to jump ahead as well. The Wanderer was another map released back in Operation 2 featuring a new mechanic that the Coalition were pushing at the time. Throughout the Hive your team will be followed by a Mulcher Scion who will become invulnerable with certain mutators being active but more on those later. Your team will have several possible paths they can take in both acts, but let's show the maps on screen to help visualise this. Make your way toward the weapon rooms found in both acts and use these to trap the Mulcher Scion inside, since you will find flashbangs inside some of these, so it's a fairly easy trick to pull off. The Venom shouldn't be a problem since your characters set a 60 second timer and your team will gain a large amount of distance very quickly. Your first priority is typically dealing with the Mulcher Scion, then grabbing weapons from the other rooms. I'll throw up the list of weapons you can find on this map, with them being split into your guaranteed and situational once again. Your situational weapons rely on specific enemies spawning and a certain mutator for this hive. Weapons that are absent from this list will never be available on the Wanderer. I have covered everything I usually would about the hive, so let's take a look at the mutators next. All hives have 7 fixed mutators, meaning these will never change, even if the Wanderer becomes a daily or weekly featured hive. The first mutator on this map is Invincible Mulcher Scions. Mulcher Scions found inside the hive are completely invulnerable, taking zero damage from all sources. One Mulcher Scion is guaranteed in each act, and your best way to deal with these is to trap them inside a weapon room. More health. All enemies gain extra health. So I do want to double back on my previous Road to Seriously 5.0 videos by saying that this mutator is additive. Recently I went over my calculations again and did some more testing for this mutator and it is in fact multiplicative instead, but still with a value of 50%. So in actuality this gives 5 times the standard health for all enemies between Master Difficulty and this mutator. I will make another video related to this soon and go back to try and edit my videos to correct this mistake. More lethal. Players take more damage from all sources. Taking a class with damage resistance or stim generation is a good counter to this mutator. Most classes have some form of this but those without will need to take extra cover. Faster Scions. Scions movement speed is increased. The additional movement speed is slightly noticeable, but you will still have plenty of time to outrun the Mulcher Scions found within. Other Scions will still keep some distance rather than closing distance to melee range. Ultra Stopping Power Players hit with Ballistics will have their movement speed severely reduced for a couple of seconds. Not many enemies with rifles are found on this map, but if you are hit, rolling in any direction is unaffected by this mutator. Ammo Starvation Picking up ammo is reduced by 0 to 75% depending on the weapon. Classes requiring lots of ammo will require another class to help generate some additional ammo pickups. The Tactician is also a good counter to this. Iron Man. Players have one life to get out alive. Should you die in Act 1, you will be able to come back in the safe room into the second act, but that's it. Try to revive teammates that go down. With this section now complete, it's time to move on to the classes that I would suggest for taking on this map. Like usual, there will be three classes here, with each having its own positives and negatives. Let's start out with the Nomad. Choosing to take the Nomad is a solid choice due to their fear ability, survivability and damage potential. Optimal weapons for this class aren't guaranteed, so take whatever you can. Lots of rejects are found throughout the hive, granting easy executions, which in themselves grant additional buffs with certain skill cards. Save your fear ultimate ability, if the Mulcher Scion does happen to catch up to your team quickly, as fearing them will give you some additional time to move forward and create some distance. Depending on your weapon choices, ammo could be a concern later on. 
An alternative class choice for similar reasons could be the Anchor. Here is my Nomad build for the Wanderer. Armoured Shot, Execution Shield, Phase, Menace, with your choice card being Concussive Rounds, Terror, Nomad Armour. Moving on to the second suggested class, and this one was mentioned earlier, it is the Tactician. Granting ultimate cooldown, ammo regeneration, and has optimal weapons found throughout the hive. You don't have any innate damage resistance or stim generation without your ultimate, so survivability would be your biggest concern. A boom shot, hammer burst, and grenade can all be found within the first act, though you will need to move quickly to get all of these before the venom catches up. My skill card choices for this class would be Shredder, Disciplined, Resupply Duration, Venom Explosive Resupply, and for your final card, Resupply Healing Module, Recharge Bounty, Modified Hammer Burst. Now for the last class suggestion, and this time we have the Architect. Seeming like a strange choice at first, but the class has built-in stim generation, decent damage output if you can get a good flanking position, and an ultimate ability you can use as a distraction if needed. You can use whatever weapons you have available, but ammo could be a concern for yourself. Your passive ability is useless during this escape as well, since there are no weapon lockers found within the Wanderer. Hologram can be used to distract the Moltres Scion should they catch up, but it does only get a short 7 second duration at base. As the architect, here is the build I would suggest. Regenerative Field, Hologram Extend, Hologram Lifetime, Deception, with your 5th card only having 2 choices this time, Epic Score Boost, or Stim Capacity. My master attempt of the Wanderer saw me playing as the architect using the build you see on screen, with Stim Capacity taking up my optional card slot. The class does suffer from a lack of build diversity, but this is still powerful enough to get you through. Let's cut the chit chat now and show my master attempt of the Wanderer. I hope you enjoy. Right, how's it going gears? We are on the Wanderer in today's video. Come on, shitbag, what are you doing? Yeah. The mutators and build that I am using on this one will be at the beginning. But we need to get a move on. That Multra Scion is already catching up. Oh, this is going to be um, I wouldn't do this to you. close. Maybe I would. Oh, somebody patch me up. Got it. I'll take that. Well, that was um, not the best start. Got it. As you will have seen in the beginning, the one of the main mutators is that Scions are in invincible. Rip. So there's Rip. nothing you can do about fighting them. You genuinely have, just have to trap them. Got one. Grab that ammo. Let's grab that hammer burst. 
a bit more ammo here. We did lose one of the characters that we started with. Uh, ooh. Tell you what, actually. I'll grab that. You take that. That works. We do need to get a move on, though. The Venom in this hive doesn't move the fastest, but it is... Like, if you dilly-dally, it will quickly catch up. Who did we lose? We lost the brawler, surprisingly. Ready to roll. Oh, keep jamming my gun. That ultra stopping power is going to get a little bit uh, difficult to deal with. Venom's right behind us. Go. Drone. I will take that. We're definitely going to get to the safe room because we are nearly at the end already. And a good place to use this boom shot if you do grab it is in this next section. There we go. <laughs> Couldn't quite get the hit on him there. Weapon. Found ammo. We do have a flashbang for the Mulcher Scion in the next uh, section as well. And we made it through very messily, but we got through the first act. Let's look around before the venom busts in. So, want to be my shower button? Dudes. Again, you're definitely going to want to get a move on because there is another Mulcher Scion just there. And here, if you take a right, there is a weapon room at the end with not many enemies to fight to get to. A perfect spot to uh, trap this Mulcher Scion. Do need to get a move on though. The um, the Mulcher sign is nearly here.
You know, I'll grab that. I'll grab one of them. Oh, looks like that guy is going to go down, unfortunately. Again, no point fighting it. Might as well get a move on. The deception card will obviously do nothing for rejects unless you trigger them. Executing them is just a lot easier though. Yes, you can shoot them. But executing them and costing no ammo. Much easier option. Elite hunter. Got to reload. Ready to roll. Rock one. Uh, tell you what, I'll grab the flashbang. Uh, let me grab that. There is a lancer here. I'm tempted to take it because I've only got one boom shot. Yeah, fuck it. I'll grab that. Don't have the most ammo on one boom shot. It's not going to do a lot, really. One thing I want to quickly do is take this reject out just so it doesn't try and chase us. Oh, he's down. much ammo for this last section I'm I am hoping to uh, save my ultimate for the very end that was a terrible shot on my part <laughs> There we go. That's where you can really make that deception skill card come in useful. Just getting the slight angle on an enemy will be enough to uh, take them out in one hit. Shot grenades as well. Grand thing to have. Attacking. Ah, that was 
Pop you down there. Let me just quickly run back and grab that shot grenade. Oh. That's all of us. We've got enemy real hearts. Let's do this. Got to the extraction point. Uh, yeah, you're all over me. Coming in. There we go. If you do that as well. There you go. Oh, we got there in the end. It was a little bit messy, but we basically two manned it. If you have made it this far through the video, then thank you for watching until the very end. It's very much appreciated and you are awesome. Those of you normally still around at this point know that these map completions have been tracked using this handy visual aid. The Wanderer is our 27th map. Let's go ahead and cross this one off, leaving just five more to complete. If you have enjoyed this video or series, then do be sure to like the video. It does help out a lot. Those of you not subscribed to the channel, then what are you doing? Click the subscribe button just below. It's free, gives you notifications about my future uploads, and you can always unsubscribe later on if you don't like my future content. I do continue to stream over on Twitch as well, with there being a link in the description box below. If you ever want to come and watch me live, that's another video completed. So as always, take it easy gears, and I will catch you in the next one.